Today we're going to update the CanSmart controller software. First I'm clicking the uh, desktop icon and checking the version that I have installed. As you can see it's saying connect device to continue but I'm going to ignore that for now. Just look in the lower left hand corner of the screen you see 1802.2 that's the version that I have and it's actually beta software um, which I was given by uh, Denali Electronics to trial. Um, I talked about this in a previous video. So here's the interface that just came up and it's saying please turn on the ignition or check the connection. Uh, it's doing the um, initial setup and I'm going to reach over in a little while and turn on the ignition of the bike and you'll see that yellow bar disappear. Okay there is gone so the bike is uh, on in the on position but the engine is off um, as you can see it has the feature for turning the uh, auxiliary lights off when the turn signal is active so I'm just now checking the version to see and you can see it's 1802.2 okay so we check that we, we verify that that's the version installed so now if you want to go and uh, install the latest update, you go to the Denali Electronics website, which I already preloaded into the browser, and you can see it's denalielectronics.com slash cansmart dash controller. You go to that URL and you'll see, uh, you scroll down and you'll see where it gets to the CanSmart uh, Accessory Manager software. Uh, Windows download, Mac download. This is of course for a Windows application. Uh, version 18.03.2 released on 16th of May 2018. So this is the newer version um, after the trial period was done that I have. And um, it implements the new, so the, the new functionality whereby uh, the accessory lights are turned off when the signals are active, allowing you to, uh, the people in front of you to see a little bit better uh, your signals. So the installation uh, process has started. You just accept the terms of the agreement and hit next. Uh, install it to the uh, default uh, location. Uh, in my case, it took a bit of time. It got stuck in this position here, but I've edited out all of that and um, it'll progress a little bit better now here on the screen. Okay, I select Run Easy Can, and then click Finish, and then after that, it's stuck again. I don't know what happened, but the tablet was recently rebooted before all of this, so something was going on. Anyway, the splash screen eventually came up, and as you can see in the lower left-hand corner is 1803.2, and that's the version and this is the new interface which is pretty much the same as the beta interface I had you can see the yellow bar is saying please turn the ignition on and I believe I did that just afterwards because the yellow bar goes away and the screen repaints and there you have it so these are all the default settings that come straight out of the box off when the turn signal is active, strobe when the horn is active, strobe on flash to pass, inverse flashing when ha hazards are active. And I just checked the version here, and as you can see, it's 1803.2 of the software. That's basically it for this video. Um, I'm just checking here and I did scroll down and check all the other settings, but I cut that out of the video just to keep it shorter. So that's it.